Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I have been using ChatGPT for a few months now and I've noticed that it does some things really, really well. And so today I wanted to share five different things that ChatGPT does really, really well. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and hop into ChatGPT and I'm actually gonna show you on my phone cause well, that's where I normally use ChatGPT and it's fantastic on mobile devices. All right, let's open up the app here and the first thing that I wanna show you is that it's great for making thumbnails. Now, I am a YouTuber, a content creator, I make thumbnails all the time and ChatGPT is one of the ways that I do it. So. I'm just gonna come over here. I've actually already created one, so we'll see right here. It says YouTube thumbnail. And I asked it, I said, I told it, it says, I'm making a YouTube video about five great things you can do with ChatGPT, and I need help with the thumbnail. I was hoping that you can make one for me. Keep in mind, I'm an African-American male, and I need a thumbnail to be 16 by nine aspect, uh, landscape aspect ratio. So you can see there, it actually created a really nice, image for me, however, it made it into a one by one square image instead of a 16 by nine. And so I went ahead and actually asked it to make another image for me. So we can see here, it says, that's really good, but can you make it a landscape, uh, landscape aspect ratio image? And, and so it went ahead and created another one. And there we go, we can see it created a really nice image there. It says five great things. So, and there is some other room, there's some room at the top or at the bottom there. So if I wanted to add some text over there, I could do it very, very easily. But it's a really nice, rich graphic there that I can uh, use as a thumbnail. So yes, that is the first thing that I love about this. You can create really, really good uh, thumbnails because ChatGPT does an excellent job with image generation. Now the next thing ChatGPT is really, really good at is tech support. There have been many of times when I ran into some sort of problem with a device or software or something, I couldn't figure it out or I just couldn't remember how to do it. I was able to just hop right into ChatGPT, ask it the question and get my answer right away. And let me show you one example. So I'm gonna come over here where I've already actually done this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on here, Canon R5 slow motion, because I forgot at one point how to set up my camera to shoot 4K 120. So I said, I have a Canon R5 camera and I'm trying to remember how to set up slow motion video. I would like to shoot at 120 frames a second in 4K, can you help me with that? And you can see here, it actually gave me step-by-step -step instructions on where to navigate through the system, how to set everything up, how to make sure everything was the way I want it. It just really gives me everything that I need right here so I can set it up. It's amazing because I used to carry around my, uh, my camera manuals with me in my bags. And then when they start digitizing them, I would carry, I would download the PDFs to them and keep them on my phone. But now, with ChatGPT, if I'm ever out shooting and I forget how to do something, I forget where a setting is, I can simply ask ChatGPT and get it step by step right away so I don't have to go searching through the manual and reading the book or searching through a PDF. I can just get the instructions right here, step by step, really quickly. All right, let's move on to number three. Now the third thing is, is that ChatGPT is really good with helping you analyze and crunch data. Now, I was recently looking to buy a new car. I wanted a hybrid and I wasn't sure what was out there and what was the best. So I simply asked ChatGPT, hey, can you give me the top hybrid vehicles and I want to have, I want say like the top five, I don't wanna pay more than $35,000 for it and can you put all of the information in a table like the cost, the miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff and let's see what it gave us. So here we are and I put the, I have the top hybrid cars under 35K and I asked it, I said, I'm considering buying a car and I want it to be, I want it to be a hybrid and I want it to be less than 35,000 
Uh, can you find the top five uh, uh, the top five rated vehicles in that price range? And can you put the information in a table based on price, mileage, or I should say miles per gallon? Um, I should say safety re uh, rating, reliability, cost ownership, general, and all that stuff. So basically, this is what it gave me. So it, it gave me different categories with the vehicle, the starting price, the miles per gallon, safety rating, reliability, cost of ownership, and additional notes. And so we can see here, I have the Toyota Camry Hybrid, 26,000 to 36,000. It's gonna get between 39, 53, and 47 there for city, highway, and uh, combined. And then we have the five-star rating, reliability is excellent, cost of ownership is low, and high resale value for additional notes. I have the Honda Accord, that's gonna also give me the price, the uh, city, highway, and combined and then the safety rating, the um, reliability, and then you can see here it says uh, spacious interior for additional notes. We have the Toyota Prius there, the Kia Rio, and the Hyundai Elantra, which is the one that I actually ended up buying. So, but you can see here, it gives you all this data and it makes it very easy to read. And you have these nice tables and you can actually copy these tables and put them right into an Excel spreadsheet if that's what you're into. Cause I know there are some Excel warriors out there, but if you have a bunch of data, you can, you can throw all kinds of data at ChatGPT or you can ask it to create the data, put it in tables, throw it into, chat, into uh, Excel and have all that stuff formatted and ready to go quickly and easily. All right, let's go to number four. Now, number four is you can just simply have fun with ChatGPT. It is just fun and you can ask it to do all kinds of stuff like write poetry or write lyrics to songs or tell you a story. And I'm just gonna say like, let me go ahead and put in here. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna type in here, tell me a story about a Space Cowboy, a Space Cowboy named Sam that is on the planet Europa and make it for a five-year-old at bedtime. And let's see what it's gonna give us. So there we go, we put it in there. We can see it is writing the story as we're watching it. And it's just gonna go along and give us the story. And look at that. It's still writing, so it's still gonna give us the story. I'm not sure how long this story is gonna be, but if you're looking to make sure that you can have a good, interesting story that's gonna be fun, and you can even ask it to change the tone if you want to. So you can make it, you can, you can read through the story if you want, but you can see, there we go, we have it at the end. So it's gonna give us a nice story that's not gonna to take too long to read to your five-year-old, since that's what we asked for. But let's say that you wanted this for an eight-year-old. You can ask it for an eight-year-old. If you want it to be funny, you can ask it to change the tone to make it more funny. You can ask it to make it scary or serious or give it a, a you know, ask it to have some sort of message in there. You can ask it to do all these different things and it's going to do it quickly and easily because it's just kind of fun to do. I mean, ChatGPT is not just about work it can be also a lot of fun. All right, we have the very last thing here, so let's go in to number five. So now number five is probably one of the most used things I would say with ChatGPT, and that is a lot of people use it to help revise their resume or to create a resume for them. So I actually went and searched online for like a sample resume of somebody who just graduated from college and didn't have any experience. And so I'm gonna actually ask ChatGPT if I upload an image of my resume, can it help me revise it and add some stuff in there and see what it says. So let me go ahead and ask it. I'm gonna say, hey, um, I have a resume and can I upload the image of it? and get help revising it. All right, let's see what he says back. It says, yes, you can upload the image. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and let's put in a, uh, let's start with a photo, we'll hit continue. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap that right there and hit add. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, please add in 
experience as a YouTube content creator and a videographer. All right, let's click that and let's see what it comes up with. If it's gonna analyze the image, it should analyze the image and all the data in there and then give me a, uh, a resume back. And look at that, here we come. There we go, we can see there it's coming back. It says relevant experience. It has YouTube content creator with uh, and videographer. It's actually even has, it, because of the memory, it's even has my Today I Feel Like channel on there. It's gonna say produced and edited all these various things. Um, it's gonna have, um, it's gonna show some of the other information based on that sample resume that I uploaded. So we'll see that it's gonna have like electoral process and public opinion, volunteer information. And then it says there you can replace the X with numbers and, and actual statistics and stuff for you. So yeah, look at that. That quickly, it gave you information about a resume, you know, with a resume. And this was the sample resume that I, uh, that I put in there. So, you know, it wasn't very much to it right there. So, yeah. I mean, that's just fantastic. So if you have a resume, you're looking for a new job, you can simply give it the information, the new information. You can upload an image of your old resume and you can ask it, say, hey, can you refine, can you re, uh, revise my resume, add the new uh, relevant information and you know, reformat it, make it shorter, make it longer, make it more detailed, make it you know more eye-catching. Whatever it is, you can get the you can get it to do that. And then once you have that information, you can copy it out of Chat GPT, put it in a Word doc, or you can move it over to Canva or something so that you get it looking actually nice and fancy. So, but resumes, Chat GPT is really, really good at making and revising resumes. Well, there you go, everyone. That's it. Those are five things that ChatGPT is really, really good at. And I like to do these things on my phone because, well, I just use my phone a lot. I find it very easy to do on there. But you can do this on your computers or your tablets, wherever you have access to it. And ChatGPT actually has their 4.0, which you can use for free. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do on there. Now there are some limitations with the free version where you may run out of memory, uh, memory very quickly. So just be aware of that. So if you start asking it too many, uh, for too many requests in a short period, it may tell you that you need to come back later. But if you have the paid version, you can pretty much go ham and not worry about it. So, but in any case, ChatGPT does all five of those things really, really well. And if you need any of them, I think you should definitely give ChatGPT a try. So yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to leave links to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts. So you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.